Welcome to the General Chemistry 2 class. This section is on the physical properties of solutions. This lesson is about determination of molar mass using colligative properties. Let's begin. In this lesson, we will calculate molar mass from colligative property data. Calculating colligative properties of solution can be applied to determine the molar mass of unknown compounds. For this lesson, we will discuss some of the methods for molar mass determination based on colligative properties. These methods are ebullioscopy and cryoscopy. Ebullioscopy is the process of determining the molar mass by measuring the change in boiling point of the solvent when the solute is dissolved in the solvent. Cryoscopy is the process of determining the molar mass by measuring the change in freezing point of the solvent when the solute is dissolved in the solvent. For simplicity, we will solve problems involving non-electrolyte solute. In an experiment, 1.50 grams of an unknown organic compound was dissolved in 50 grams of ethanol. The solution boiled at 78.484 degrees Celsius. What is the molar mass of the solute for ethanol? Its boiling point is 78.24 degrees Celsius, while its Kb is equals to 1.23 degrees Celsius kilogram per mole. Solution Calculate the boiling point elevation. Subtract the boiling point of the solvent from the solution. The difference gives us the boiling point elevation, which is 0.244 degrees Celsius. The underlying number indicates the last significant digit. The boiling point of ethanol is a value obtained from the literature and not from the experiment determined in the problem. Thus, should not be basis for the number of significant figures. Next, calculate the molality from the boiling point elevation and Kb value. Plugging in the values, we obtain 0 0.198 moles per kilogram. Determine the amount of moles of the solute from the calculate molality and mass of solvent. Take note that we use 0 0.198 for and not 0 0.198 as the value of molality to minimize errors brought about by rounding off intermediate answers. The answer is 0 0.00992 moles. At this point, we now have the mass and amount in moles of the unknown solute. We can now determine the molar mass of the solute dividing the mass by the amount of moles give us 151 grams per mole. This is the molar mass of an unknown solute. Recall the concept of empirical formula and molecular formula. Empirical formula is the formula in which elements are in their simplest ratio, while molecular formula is the actual formula of a compound to determine the molecular formula. First, find the empirical mass from the given empirical formula. Calculate the molecular mass or molar mass from the colligative property data, then get the multiplier by dividing the molar mass by empirical mass. Finally, use N as the multiplier of the empirical formula to get the molecular formula. Example 2. An unknown compound has the empirical formula CH2O. A. 0 0.400 gram portion of the sample was dissolved in 10 grams of water. The freezing point of the solution was negative 0 0.412 Celsius. What is the molecular formula of the unknown compound? For water, freezing point is equals to 0 degrees Celsius. Kf equals to 1.86 degrees Celsius kilogram per mole. Let us calculate the empirical mass of the compound. The formula CH2O has the empirical mass of 30.026 grams per mole. For the calculation of the molar mass, calculate the freezing point depression, subtract the freezing point of the solution from, the, from that of the solvent. The difference gives us the freezing point depression, which is 
0.413 degrees Celsius. Next, calculate the molality from the freezing point elevation and the KF value. Plugging in the values, we obtain 0 0.2220 0 moles per kilogram. Determine the amount in moles of the solute from the calculate molality and mass of solvent. The answer is 0 0.00222 moles. At this point, we now have the mass and the amount in moles of the unknown solute. We can now determine the molar mass of the solute. Dividing the mass by the amount in moles gives us 180 grams per mole. We will use this value to determine the molecular formula of the solute. Get the multiplier n. Dividing the molar mass by the empirical mass gives us the multiplier, which is approximately equal to 6. To summarize, the molar mass of a compound can be determined using colligative properties. Ebullioscopy and cryoscopy are some methods employed in molar mass determination. To learn more about this lesson, kindly visit the following references. And that's all. Thank you.